Professor Oki has provided a strong case for the need to teach listening skills to students of English. But teaching listening is hard, and we need all the help we can get. Fortunately, technology today provides some resources that make teaching listening a lot easier and a lot more visual, regardless where you are around the world. Let's look at four ways that technology can help. The first is to introduce students to opportunities to listen on the internet sites such as Voice of America. Voice of America, as I pointed out earlier, contains all interesting news stories that are presented in a way that is accessible to English language learners. And it provides a great resource for teachers to work with as well. Second, technology allows us to create lessons focused on short lectures from, for example, TED-Ed or the TED Talks website. And we're going to take a look at that website in detail in a few minutes. This is a great resource. Third, teachers need to teach students how to become interested in listening to English. It is very important that students get a lot of practice listening to English outside of the classroom. And then fourth, teachers can encourage students to use the capabilities of technology to help them with their listening. They can encourage students to use resources such as subtitles, transcripts, repetition, reference materials, and images to provide listening support. All of these tools help students to better understand the spoken language and to prepare for face-to-face -face conversations when these resources are not available. First, let's take a look at the many different websites that are available for listening for English as a Foreign Language students.